In this video, I'll be showing you a quick tip that you can use to speed up your workflow and make things a bit easier for yourself. So I'm going to show you how you can zoom in and out of your project with really minimal effort using some key commands. Um, so there's loads of key commands for all sorts of stuff in Logic, but this one is the most useful that I've personally found when it comes to making things better for yourself and sort of quickening up your workflow. So in this project, you can see that um, everything here is fitting nicely into the window. And um, that's because I've configured the zoom for the project. Now, the way that you might change it initially is by using the sliders in the top right hand corner of the screen up here. So that's the vertical zoom where you can do that. So that's one of them. And then the other one is the horizontal zoom. And I'll just show you how that works. But after a while, if you're constantly changing these and zooming in and out of certain areas of your project um, using just these tiny little sliders, it can get kind of tiresome uh, because you have to hover over one tiny area of your screen. And then when you move the sliders, you have to be really careful um, that you make sure you do really minimal sort of movements. Um, and especially if you might be on a laptop and you're using the trackpad and not a mouse, it does get pretty tiresome quite quickly if you're doing it a lot. Um, so the best way that I've found is uh, to use the key commands for it. Um, and the way that you do that is if you hold down the command button on your keyboard and at the same time use the directional buttons, so the up, down, left and right, you can quickly and easily zoom in and out of your project. Um, so command up and down for the vertical zoom and command left and right for the horizontal zoom. So I'll just show you quickly sort of how that works. So that's the vertical zoom. And then the horizontal zoom. And this is just how you would kind of use it. And it just makes things a lot easier for yourself. Um, so all you have to do is just tap once on one of the arrows um, just to do a little minimal movement. Um, and it's really easy to do a sort of um, a quick triple tap, um, for example, as well. Um, if you want to do it really fast, you can hold down one of the directional buttons and then that'll just whiz through it. So I recommend that you learn this and kind of get into the habit of doing it, um, especially if you might be editing very specific areas of tracks and moving quickly from one really small section to an, another section um, and then zooming out again to, to see the whole project. Um, so this will just make things a load easier for you. And something else uh, you can do finally is um, you can change the individual track zoom for a certain instrument. So let's just say that you wanted the piano to be pretty big here, and then the orchestral kit pretty small, you can do that as well. And then that won't have an effect on um, the, whole, the whole layout when you uh, go to zoom in and out of the whole project. That'll sort of keep everything um, in the same ratio uh, with each other.